Guys, some big surprises here. Man, I've been waiting for this for months. We've had uh, the deposit down on this new farm uh, item. I'll wait till you see, holding that surprise. But uh, this is gonna be a game changer here on the farm, so I am so excited to get it here. You wanna take a look? Ready? Do you hear it? What do you think it is? Check it out, guys. Our 2022 Can Am Defender Max Limited. When we don't want to get out on a farm, it's too cold, wet, now we've got a farm vehicle that we could easily get around. This is going to be a great farm vehicle, guys. Let's check it out. This thing is so quiet. Man, I know a lot of you are probably thinking, man, that's overkill, you don't need all that. Enclosures are overrated and whatever else, I don't know. To each their own, this is what we wanted, this is what we were looking for. Um, I did get a lot of feedback from people saying, just get one without the enclosure, so much cheaper, you could always put it on later. But you know what, for the convenience and to make sure it's done right and looking good, we just did it all up front. It may have been a little bit extra money, but you know, in our eyes, it was worth it. But we're super happy about this thing. I haven't even drove it yet. Jerry and the kids haven't even seen it. So let me get in this thing real quick. Let's take a look. Again, it's nice and warm in here right now because this got heating and air. So the heat is on right now. It's blowing out. It's so toasty in here, guys. This is awesome. We've got a windshield wiper here with some fluid if it gets dirty. We have automatic windows. Check this out. Just like in our car. This is essentially a second vehicle for us, or a third vehicle per se. My truck is nice to get around the farm. I can get around the fields and area, but getting back through the woods and trails and other places that we need to get. You know, we were using the four-wheeler and the golf cart, but let's be honest, that 48-volt golf cart, although it's been through everything and it's been awesome, it's just not meant for this farm life and to keep up with the chores that we're trying to do. We ultimately decided on a nice side-by-side. -side. Let me get up in here. Oh. And that's the other thing. This thing has super comfortable seats. And as you can see, I'm six foot two, and I still have plenty of headroom, and my knees still have plenty of leg room. I can hit the gas, brake, everything just fine it gives me room in the back for the whole family what else it's got four-wheel drive so when you take a look here you can switch this into four-wheel drive with this button you can lock the differentials here you can change the drive modes all these buttons here will control the dash the way you see we've got our fuel gauge change it between different trips this indication light here will tell you when it's in four-wheel drive right now it's locked in two-wheel drive here's your time your temperature, if you're what gear you're in. So it's basically like a car dash, um, same kind of thing. We've got headlights here, and um, I don't know what this one, oh, this is the winch. So this is our winch forward and back. Cup holders, we've got a charging port here. The steering wheel can be adjusted up and down with the, this lever here. And the windshield, if we're driving, and it's really, say it's really nice outside, it's warm, and we just wanted some air, we could just take the windshield, pop this up, and push it out. 
it's on hydraulic so it opens it up so that's pretty sweet you just close it back in just pull it down spin it and it's latched right back and then over here in the passenger side you've got this dash right here that you can open up and get some storage in there and then if you want to if you're storing something in here you just pull this lever up and this whole thing comes out just like a little toolbox so that'll be convenient to have this in case we need a, a quick emergency fix on a fence or something we can have some tools ready to go but that's not it there's actually a spot right here underneath the passenger seat with another toolbox this one here you literally just pick up and it comes right out and you push it right back down and it has plenty of storage I believe this middle seat goes down for a cup holder so if we want to have something here store our phones or anything here we can this middle seat does come up if we want to put something here same thing with over here if we take this up and this we could take the toolbox out and then we'll have another area to put something here if we need it if the dogs are in here or something uh, let's get out and take a look around again so down here there's a little compartment a little ashtray what they used to look like the old school style it's pretty deep uh, can store whatever in there maybe your phone charger or, uh, whatever in the back seat what we have here I uh, still again the, these seats are so comfortable but these back windows are not automatic they have these little grapples here but you can push them out so you have a little opening pull right back in it clips so that's pretty neat and then you also have a middle seat that pulls up this is where the battery compartment is to get to that seat folds up this seat folds up so we can really put a lot of stuff in here too if we needed to and this is all nice and hard so it's not gonna rip or uh, get damaged. And you'll notice the roof is all lined too, so that's got a nice lining in there, which is really nice to have. All really well insulated, that's why it holds the heat and air pretty good. The bed of the Can-Am is really cool. They've got these spots here, there's four circles you'll see in the bed. And that's uh, designed for five gallon buckets. So you can throw some five gallon buckets in there and drive around and it won't slide around in the bed, which is pretty convenient. We've got areas where we can put some uh, maybe some wood slots in here and build this up if we want to make a rack. I mean, there's so many different accessories that we could have got for this. This is not everything that comes with it. Um, there's definitely a lot more add-ons you can get, but right now, uh, and due to the coronavirus, uh, unfortunately, a lot of production and manufacturing is backed up, so that's why we had to wait so long for this. But if we wanted to add on any additional other bells and whistles or other features, uh, th that was going to be an additional weight and we'd have to bring it back and get it serviced and all that so it was a lot of hassle this is perfectly fine uh, we don't need anything else right now but on the back here we've got a tailgate just like on a truck you pull up the lever there we go see max 250 pounds sitting on this so I'm right on the fringe of that I probably won't test that but this is gonna be nice because if we have something in a bed and we um, it's heavy and we want to dump it out it's a dump bed, it's a hydraulic dump bed. So there's a lever here, you just pull this up, and when you pull it up, it just pretty much goes up on its own. Everything could dump out here. Now, this is also where the engine compartment is, as you see. And even with the engine bay open, with the bed open and the engine running, it's, it's really not that loud. So that was one thing I also liked about this when I was looking into it, was these Defender Maxes um, were known to be pretty quiet, uh, you know, as far as gasoline engines, small vehicles go. Down here, we've got some pretty good suspension here. We also have a, a hitch bar so we can put on the ball or something else we can tow around the trailer or whatever uh, implements and stuff that I need to pull with this. So this is gonna be convenient to be able to pull the trailer around and it's all inclusive, guys. This is, again, it's gonna be a game changer here at the farm. This is where you put the gas in. They did tell me low octane only. This is not gonna take a 91 or 93 or premium as we call it. Uh, this is gonna stay on an 86, uh, just a basic unleaded gasoline. That's what this runs off of. Hard roof, glass windows, and then on the front, we've got a nice bumper here that comes with it, but it also comes with this nice winch. And again, this is all controlled inside the cab with a push of a button, um, and this winch can come in and out. So if we ever get stuck or if we need to pull something out of the woods or whatever other reasons we might need for this, uh, maybe pulling some kind of chicken coop around or something, I don't know. 
Uh, but this might come in handy eventually, and I'm sure we'll end up using it. But overall, guys, this Can-Am Defender Max is awesome. And we're gonna put it to the test. We're gonna test it out, drive it around the property. And I'm, I'm so excited for Jerry and the kids to see this. We're gonna have to go take a trip here in a little while. What do you think? It looks like a little mini car. A little mini car? This thing is way larger than that one. Yeah. I could fit in the back. And just have a little what do you guys think? In the front? Yeah. Oh, I, yeah. I like in the car, no joke. Oh. And look, as you can see, we've got three of us up front. Ethan's in the back. <laughs> got plenty of space for his feet. All right. We're going to take a ride. Anytime someone goes to drive it, he jumps in. Put the window down over here. Ah, there we go. Heat's on. Nice and warm. Woo. Hands get cold. All right, guys, thanks a lot for following along on today's video. Uh, if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button and uh, hit that bell down below as well. Follow along as we release new videos. Till next time, guys, we'll see you later.